Now we're going to explore and work with some of the hydrology layers that we just created from the digital elevation model of Lake Victoria. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, go back and watch Hydrology Processing Using Grass Tools Part 1. Open up your QGIS for desktop and add the watershed basin layer. And it's showing here on top of the open street map layer from the open layers plugin. Right click on watershed basin, go up to style and change the render type from single band gray to single band pseudo color. Under generate new color map, go to greens and click classify. We're trying to make the watershed basins look more distinct here. Change the mode to equal interval. Uh, under classes, make it 100 and click classify. And then change the colors to random colors. Click classify again, click apply, and click OK. So there you can see each of the basins is a, a different color. Go to add vector layer. Browse to LV sub-basins and click open. So that's a polygon layer of the sub-basins and right click on that layer. And go to color and change the opacity to zero and click OK. And then go to simple fill and increase the border width a little bit and click OK. And when you zoom in, you can see that the sub-basin lines match up with the watershed basin lines. Turn off the watershed basin layer, leave the sub-basins on, click on open raster data, and open up half basins and move the uh, LV sub basins above it so you can see the outline of the sub basins. And you can see that the lines match up there pretty well too. Click Add Raster Data, open Flow Direction. Right click on flow direction and go to remove. Open add raster data and we'll open segments which were stream segments. So if you zoom in you'll be able to see the little streams that it created from your digital elevation model. Right click on segments and go to properties. Change the render type to single band pseudo color. And then make the colors blues. The mode is equal interval and make it one class and click apply. And now we can see those stream segments a little bit more clearly and in blue because they're water. And you can see that the stream segments match up with the streams and rivers underneath on the open street maps. So those are the layers we created using the hydrology processing tools and the digital elevation model and some of the different ways to display them.